Welcome everyone, here's how you use the cover screen in Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. So the first thing you may notice is if you plan on customizing the home screen here, let's say I move the gallery icon on the cover screen. When I go to the inner screen, you're going to notice the gallery icon isn't going to move, okay? It will stay where it is. Now you can keep that as it is, so you customize the outer screen, then you move to the cover screen. But what you can also do is mirror the cover screen and the inner screen. So in order to do this, you're going to open up the settings app. From here, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see home screen. You're then going to see the option here, cover screen mirroring. Tap into this one, tap on on, and then apply. So now the home screen layout for the cover screen is going to be mirrored to the home screen. So take a look at that Play Store icon. I'm gonna to go to my cover screen now. And let's say the Play Store, I'm gonna move this guy down like so. And once I do this and I open up the Z Fold 4, you're gonna notice, boom, the, uh, the Play Store application has moved. In the past, that won't happen. The only downside is you do have this little gap, okay? Can't put an application in that gap. However, it means all the actions you do on the cover screen will be synced. Now the next thing is when you open up an application, okay, let's say I open up the browser and I'm like, you know what, I don't want to use this screen, uh, this inner screen here, so I'm going to go to the cover screen and it locks my device. So how on earth do we prevent the cover screen from being locked, okay, because it's quite annoying. Um, you know, for some applications, it's a good thing to close the device, but other apps, you know, the browser, I want it to continue. Let's say the camera here. So if I go to the camera and I'm like, I don't want to use this under display selfie camera. I don't want to use the rear camera as a selfie camera. Uh, instead, I want to use the actual uh, front camera, okay? When I fold, I'm going to get everything fully working. The device doesn't lock. For you, your device will lock. So in order to change those settings, we're going to open up the settings app. And then from here, we're going to find where it says display. And then when we are in display, we're going to scroll all the way down. And you're going to see here, continue apps on cover screen. Tap on this one and you'll be able to choose which applications will continue on the cover screen when you lock your Z Fold 4. Uh, so let's say, you know, the, the, the Chrome app, right? So now I'm going to open up my Z Fold 4. I'll open up the Chrome app like so and I'm gonna fold and you can see the device won't lock but if I go to the home screen you can see the cover screen will actually lock okay uh, let's go over some other things as well so if you watched my split screen tutorial for the inner screen here you'll realize that you know you can add up to three applications right like so, and then you can even add more applications through here. But the inner screen is actually different. So let's go to even the outer screen even. So let's go to the outer screen here, and let's take a look at split screen multitasking. So if I open up an app, okay, if I slide up from the bottom, the first thing you're gonna notice is the task bar, or the task manager, which you see will not show up in the outer screen, okay? So the way you split screen are two methods. The first way is you have this sidebar here, you slide out and you drag and drop the application in question. You're going to notice here you cannot do lands, uh, you know, side split screen. You can only do top and bottom, not left and right. You're also going to notice there is a max of two applications, okay? So if I go for free, see there's no option. You can do a pop up view, of course, to have more applications and then use the tech like I showed uh, in my regular split screen tutorial, which I have in the description, resizing. I also cover all, the, all those options mean. If you tap on the triple dots here, you can flip, okay, like so. And you also have the option to favorite the app pair as well. But you can notice again, there is no option for the taskbar with this app pair, okay. So that's just something to keep in mind. So split screen on the outer screen is way less uh, uh, feature packed. If you do go to landscape mode, it will give you the landscape uh, split screen, okay, left and right compared to up and down. Uh, however, again, you do have to physically change the rotation. So the second way to split screen 
is you open up the first tab of choice, you tap on the multitask icon, you find the app icon itself, you tap on it, and then you tap on open in pop, uh, not open in pop up view, open in split screen view. So let's try that again. Open in split screen view, tap on this one, and then you'll be able to choose the second application of choice. Again, the same split screen rules apply as the method with the sidebar right here. So that's just a basic tutorial for using the cover screen in Z Fold 4. Uh, I personally, when I use my Z Fold 3, always used the inner screen. The only time I used the outside screen was just for Twitter. However, if you plan on using the uh, outside screen more, it's best you realize the differences between the two. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.